guys and welcome back to my channel for another Stalker Mod Showcases episode. Yeah, it's the end of March, beginning of April. And uh, and yeah, I hope everyone had a, and is still having a, a nice Easter and a nice Easter, you know, nice Easter break. And um, with no further ado, let's start, shall we? So for our first mod, we have Arsenal Overall Redux 2.2. This is a mod for Stalker Clear Sky, and it is not a, a standalone. So, Arsenal Overall Redux is a compilation of mods designed to improve the gameplay of Clear Sky. So, features free play after the end of the campaign, lower the size of various textures for better performance. Dynamic zoom upgrade for integrated optics. It is the option all the way to disable enable this option in game options. Reworked weathers, correct sun position, new hand models, new hands models, new HUD, new mission icons, new engine provided by Pip, better HUD position for weapons, new avatar for every new NPC. Increase the mutant respawn rate, bloodsuckers aren't invulnerable when invisible, restore mutant parts, new mutant Tark, new mutant Rotten, uh, new dog model, new war model, restored monster chimera, restored monster viewer, uh, remove the HD models that are used in previous versions and had a new and made NPCs, more than 160. Restore suits SSP 99 Ecologist suit and SSP 99M suit. Added a new suit CHN 3B body armor for Clear Sky. Uh, all vanilla weapons have new models and animations with full and partial reloads. Added approximate, approximately uh, 100 new weapons. NPCs used new weapons. Removed flash drives. Now attack can make all upgrades for a weapon, depending on the faction. Rework stashes with new ammo and weapons. Suits don't have upgrade limit. Uh, God's rifle can be found and used for the campaign. Edited the range of the weapon sounds. New sounds for weapons. Sounds for consumables and flashlight. New footstep sounds. Military checkpoint in the bridge. Gordon instead of stalkers. Uh, revised Trader's Inventory, New Textures, Better Trajectory for the Grenades Vogue 25 and M209, Updated the Ammo and Scopes Description, Lowered the size of the various textures for better performance, Corrected the texture ends of the Freedom Exoskeleton, Freedom Mechanic can now be see the suit, SR3 Ammo 9A91 used the same upgrade of the Rosa 4, Setting the corpses of monsters and stalkers to disappear after 3 hours. Change the suit reward for duty for taking the freedom base. Now you'll receive a duty exoskeleton. Increase the reward for defend attack points for freedom and duty. Edited some ammo damages, especially the shotgun ammo. The stalker trader in the garbage use now a stalker model instead of a bandit model. In the option in the optional mission to help the stalkers against the bandits, uh, revised traders uh, prices and rewards, 
new icon for Milker MGL. Updated, updated the damage that the low ranks NPCs receive. Now they're much more weak. Added the optional add on alternative add damage. Using this add on will increase the damage that all NPCs receive. Revise the distance of weapon sounds. New sounds for bullet impacts. New icon for the NPC Stalker Freedom 2.2. Now with two variants and Sakharov. Updated the Galil to shoot to to not hear the sound for all the map. So for what I play, the the gunplay is uh, is clearly uh, an upgrade to the previous version. This is actually the second time that this mod was released, like in uh, uh, in weeks. They released 2.0 and then they released 2.2. The problem with 2.0 was the, the weapon damage. It's like you were shooting BB guns at NPCs, and now the guns actually feel like guns, and actually you have the capability to make them even more deadlier, which is something that I enjoy when I'm playing. Because, you know, firearms are deadly. Uh, I like the performance, the performance is, is pretty nice, you can see that the game runs really really well. And the visuals, yeah, they're okay, they're okay. I like the, the new the new NPC skins for, for what I played, so yeah, I think this small has come a, a long long way and it's getting better and better. Um, as always, uh, then all links will be in the description if you want guys want to give it a try. Next we have uh, another well-known mod of, our, of ours, Stalker Clear Sky Last Fallout Overall version 1.5.15. This is a mod for Stalker Clear Sky and obviously it is not a standalone. So. Stalker Clear Sky Last Fallout overall for the people that have never played this mod before is a complete overall mod for Clear Sky. It adds new levels, new quests, and a lot of new content. So, the features we have uh, porting Colo Pripyat helmets, porting Colo Pripyat boosters, the drugs adding to different inventory and huts, uh, uh, bleh, able to change them in game options, uh, porting lost alpha torch batteries and fix it for last fallout overall, adding torch slot and three different light torches, standard, advanced and military, a uh, battery for torch slash detector is needed now, uh, remove last lost alpha one and have advanced x-ray battery, uh, weather rework, level rework again, updating a bit stuff from OGSM adding monster respawns, adding repair tool for helmet, a lot of in-game options, uh, two different inventory designs, two different HUD designs, one LFO HUD and vanilla HUD. Now condition icons on HUD for helmet, weapon, suit, overweight, satiety, first infection, etc. Added Jupiter on the ground, Jupiter, Zaton and outskirt. Uh, full playable and full spawn with all LFO 2018 side quests, but it's more a modern resource. Uh, gunslinger bone system for weapons. Now we have all scopes on one weapon model and visual upgrades thanks to Edser Potkradili for porting them. Uh, change scope model PSO1 and 1P79 and weapon model L96 with models from Boomsticks and Sharpsticks, thanks to this offer for permissions. Adding four languages Polish, Russian, English, and German. Uh, changeable in, in game options. Uh, new main menu background. Rework of main menu. Rework of debug menu. Adding now all scopes to Warsaw weapons, repair kits for helmet added, uh, special hidden diamonds, now you can find one diamond on all locations, balance of consumable items, many particles from cinematic PFX particle effects add-on, a lot of small changes, restore explosion stat for, output for outfit info, 
uh, UI prefetch from new project, port multi appless feature from Monopoly, allow to change upgrade icon color by config, weapon icon at HUD, UI booster info, visible artifacts without detector from Lost Alpha, bug fixes from for attachments, artifact panel from Shadow of Chernobyl, uh, some translated to Russian language. Okay, numbers before answers from Color Pripyat, in game language changing from Open X Ray, knife stats, OGSC screen space sun shafts, final mission is finally fixed, anomaly movement layer, Discord RPC, split other skeleton arms from anomaly, lens flare and animation for items. So, for what I played, I really enjoyed the gunplay on this mod. The, the visuals are also very good, and in my opinion, this is still the best mod for Clear Sky. Uh, I'm still doing a playthrough, I haven't finished it yet for the people that that are new to the channel and never have you know, seen a playthrough of that mod, well, I'm doing well, and I, I haven't finished yet, anyway. Uh, as always, download links will be in the description. Next we have Dark Brotherhood. This is a mod for Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. And it is a standalone. So on this mod he play as a former test subject. Having spent the majority of his life in the underground laboratories of his own, one day by chance he managed to escape with your group from the clutches of the scientists. Since then you have tried as best you can to survive in this zone where, where very strange phenomena regularly take place. So, features. Uh, complete retranslation of the main plot and everything related to it. Uh, redone videos of the game. Added additional videos for the three different endings of the game, creation of numerous manual spawns to add more life and danger to the zone, name of characters, places, factions corrected with their official original French version. Yeah, this is a translation from uh, from a French translation, by the way. Uh, added color to multiple voice, multiple voice, multiple choice answers to clearly different. Differentiate them visually. Restoration of the original photographer called Icon. Important quest items changed to non throwable to avoid getting stuck. Unique icons redone for certain objects. Fix incorrectly displayed weapon icons. Add a new console consumable items wine, water, flask of vodka, beer, new energy drink, candy, sardines, corn joint, cigarettes, etc. <coughs> Addition of new items to sellers and loot on stalkers, plus reduction in the loot of original consumables to compensate. Reduced chance of finding bandages on enemies. Activation of loot on stalkers of certain factions who did not have any at all. Change the effects of all artifacts for more possible modulations and fewer original artifacts. Uh, restriction to 12 artifacts instead of 18 to avoid being overpowered. Uh, very light balancing of sprint speed to better fit the mod. Balance damage dealt and received as well as weapon accuracy. Reduction in value of report logs. Added prior chances of finding weapons accessories from certain sellers plus increase their price to better match the rarity effectiveness. Uh, rectification of purchase resale rates to include new items and weapons. Uh, reduce the zoom of certain weapons without classes for more realism. Without classes I, I would have to say probably without scopes. Added dialogues to create a romance. Okay. Added dialogue to several characters to flesh out their story slash personality. Uh, modification of quest dialogue so that objects are given and or removed at the right time. Modification of the conditions to access the good ending. Uh, three conditions instead of six originally. 
These conditions are choices to be made at crucial and important moments in the main plot. Don't worry, the choices will normally be quite visible. So you can choose the answer whatever you want in the side dialogues. Joke, be vulgar, have fun. Increase damage of weaker weapons to avoid the ball gun effect. Nerf the end boss blaster to balance the final battle. Created different damage resistance for unique characters. Increase resistance of allied elite troops in the final battle. <laughs> they will die far too quickly. Uh, add the notes to better follow the scenario. Add the names of places where we must go. And quests to avoid getting lost. Uh, correction of duplicate or unnecessary mission objectives plus addition of intermediate missions to better follow the story. Improved rendering of the lamp, new menu image and restriction of menu music to just one that sets the mood. A relatively simple EMB added to have more realistic depth of field and colors. Creation of scripts to correct one of the possible choices in the quest for the bloodless artifact. Creation of scripts to correct the despawn of certain actors. Uh, added entries to correct the re-establishment re of faction assignment to the, the player after the quest of the translator. The Black Stalker, the Apocalypse and end of the game for free play. Added many dialogue sentences and dialogue exit triggers to make dynamic discussions and messages more fluid. Add the new dialogues adapted to the choice made in the story. Basically, people will say more things in relation to you, different to your different choices, actions, etc. So yeah, for what I played, I really enjoyed the gunplay. The storyline is interesting, and the visuals are great. Uh, the only negative thing that I would say about this mod is that does not does not 60 for a beat. So yeah, well, still, as always, download links are in the description. If you guys want to give it a try, it is real. It is well worth it. And finally, we have RMA Shadows Add-on version 3.3. This is a mod for Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, and in its current form, a, if I'm not mistaken, it's a standalone. So, uh, RMA Shadows Add on is an alternative development of RMA 1.1 and Shadows Add on 089. The changes affected almost all resources of modifications and the original game Shadow of Chernobyl. So it features uh, restored plot CGI videos from Shadow of Chernobyl, replaced Mark 1 face texture based on video, replaced old texture meshes with the adaptation for widescreen and square monitors. What the heck still uses square monitors? I'm sorry, I don't want to be a, a dickhead or, or nasty, but there's still people using CRTs? Question mark? You are well. I feel sorry for you. You, des you deserve much better. Anyway, the textures of the inventory progress bars, along with the inscriptions, have been replaced. Replace the textures of the ends with more visually suitable ones. Frames from the Soviet film by Tarkovsky Stalker have been added for TV. And the missing picture in information about game locations and anomalies. Photos about the zone and artifacts have been added to, an, to the encyclopedia. Added new visual effects from hitting the player. Fixed drawing errors in the PDA encyclopedia. Replace icons with better ones. Lots of UI trade and dialogue fixes. Fixed incorrect positions of most interface elements for 5.4 and 16.9 screen formats. Optimize the textures of the Dead City maps, cordon icons and logos. The indicator for throwing bolts and grenades has been redesigned. Restore the health and armor indicators to original ones. Optimization of weapon textures and pumps was carried out, which made it possible to reduce the total file size by several times without much loss in quality. Uh, the bolt texture has been changed to a darker version. Several buttons in the main menu have been removed, some elements have been moved for greater convenience, 
Remove the flashing PDA icon from the game screen when receiving new tasks information, along with the display of the number of contacts and a number of other interface elements. Remove the inscription of the site from the build texture of the loading screen. Remove the refiller from the night vision device. Restore the cut dialog of training with set garbage and corrected all the timings. Uh, restore all ambient tracks and locations from moves with some changes. The original music has been returned to the power and megaphone. The original sounds of the monolith and side radiation have been restored. Uh, global changes in the sound component with many additions and edits. Replace sounds of injury main character, siren, rain and PDA. The sound buff files in the military laptop have been replaced with more atmospheric ones. Uh, added build music to main menu and credits. Added new jokes for stalkers of all factions. Fix many bugs in all comments for weapon sounds. Stalkers, monsters, and other files. Adjusted the volume of some founds and soundtracks. Fix all detected sounds with an unpleasant clicking effect. Uh, all audio messages are synchronized with the text part. Reduce the audibility radius of the sound of military propaganda on the cordon. Uh, remove constantly repeated lines of characters such as yes, yes, come in, do not linger, etc. Remove constant fatigue sound from all NPCs while running or in combat position. The sound of main character fatigue has been replaced with a better version. Weaker pseudo giant bot sucker and controller for the sake of preserving the player's nerve cells. Trade has been globally redesigned, prices have been revised. The weight of items and amount of assortment from traders have been adjusted to improve the game balance. Added the ability to sell and buy flashlights from all traders. Changed the spawn rate of most reports and caches to improve game balance. Changes have been made to the conditions for issuing caches in X18. Changed the accuracy of NPCs at all difficulty levels. Remove Removed elf healing from food, rebalance of first aid kits, antivirus, vodka, and drinks. Radiation accumulates in the main character gradually at all difficulty levels. The capacity of artifacts on the belt has been increased to six, and the remaining 12 slots for credit cartridges and the dosi dosimeter with the detector. Uh, the carry weight has been increased by 10 kilograms, and the maximum is 80. Removed all freebies from location, heaps of artifacts and other obscurantism that break the game at atmosphere and balance. Removed anomalies and scripted sounds of shooting in Pripyat. Added missing interaction hotkeys. Now you can trade and switch between interface windows with all NPCs without using the mouse. Uh, change almost the entire description of weapon upgrades with a lot of text edits. Change the possible options for the end of the game. There are two false endings and one true, plus free play. The control keys have been changed for the most convenient layout. Um, the view of displaying the combat characteristics of weapons and armor has been changed to a more convenient one. Added a missing description to all unique items. Fix a permanent crash when shooting barkeep in the 100 rats bar. All possible Anil Valley crashes have been fixed, which greatly improved the overall stability of the game. Fix all bugs with displaying plot messages on widescreen monitors. Fix errors in scripts, configurations and texture files of the game. Fix errors in the texts of biographies. Correct absence of biographies of some stalkers was revealed. Fix position of text and textures in game menus. Optimize the parameters in the initial quality settings of the game. Disabled automatic entry into freedom. Disabled sheet frames with sound binoculars when detecting stalkers and monsters. Disabled campfire damage to prevent characters from self immolating. Um, the text tutorial at the beginning of the game has been completely redone, and errors in the order and duration of the tutorial messages have been fixed. The zoom on all sites has been completely redone. Now, for example, the 4x scope is really 4x, with specially adjusted values. 
The viewing angle of absolutely all weapons is manually adjusted to the millimeter in accordance with the new parameters. The inertia of the camera has been completely removed, viewing angle is set by default. Fixed radius and range of flashlight illumination to 20 meters. The confused characteristics of the SIVA and SSP-99M overalls from the original game have been corrected. A global revision of absolutely the entire text component was carried out, fixed thousands of various grammatical errors and typos in all texts, descriptions and dialogues. Most of the text was refought and rewritten from scratch. Remove the radius of the restrictors, NPCs will no longer push and interfere in narrow aisles. Remove the hanging mar markers from the map even after completing the corresponding task. Increase the attack radius of the knife to a usable distance. Increase the main character growth to the level of other NPCs. The system of normal and low crouching has been changed. The, the weapon pack on hybrid hands plus adaptation from NLC 252. Interface icon from NLC 7. All auto quests are disabled. Change models of unique weapons, change the game start, time to morning. So, for what so I play, the, I enjoy the gunplay. The gunplay, you know, it's something that is uh, one of the most important things for me. I like realistic um, things, but yeah. The storyline is interesting, and the visuals, this is my opinion, don't get mad at me. I, I feel that they look dated, I'm really sorry. Uh, I would really like to see like a, a visual upgrade for this mod, because I think it's really really good. But hey, as always, the download links are in the description, yeah. And um, yeah, well, that's pretty much for this month. I really hope you enjoyed all of it. Well guys, and that's all for this month. As always, I would like to give a shout out for the Sea Consciousness group for their work with the translations, as if it weren't for them, there would be a lot of mods that we would be playing. Anyway, as always, the download links will be in the description. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you guys next time.